Good morning. I haven't been posting lately because there has been nothing of merit for me to post. And by this, I mean that <clears throat> the synagogue of Satan is being defeated in the Ukraine. Russia is defeating the synagogue of Satan in Ukraine. That is a lost war. Iran can defeat Israel anytime it wants to, and it has proven that. <clears throat> there is a war going on in Africa right now, which is a proxy war. African countries are kicking France and the United States out of their country with the assistance of Russia. Niger has told the United States to get out. The United States says we're going to leave in a few months. Russia has put troops on United States bases in Niger, so they will be leaving. The number one superpower in this world is Russia. And Russia has the military capacity and strength to decolonize Africa. And they're doing that now. <clears throat> but, so there has been nothing for me to post about because God's will is being done. But, the most beautiful thing, noteworthy thing to post about is the anti-Semitism bill. That is beautiful. It is the act of a wounded animal clinging to hope. It is the actions of a wounded animal clinging to hope. And it is not going to help them. First of all, what I love about this bill is that it puts Khazars, Israelis, in a position in a court of law to prove that they are Jews. Now they must prove that they are Jews for this law to be effective or and work for them. <clears throat> now, there are already tapes of the United States admitting that African Americans are Jews. And it is a tape of Richard Nixon speaking. <clears throat> the only thing that this bill is going to do is assist black people in getting reparations. All we have to do is proved through DNA that we are God's chosen people. And it's already been proven. <clears throat> the anti-Semitism bill is a gift. It is a gift that can be used in a court of law to prosecute the United States of America for anti-Semitism. I mean, you have to prove it. The ICJ has already voted against Israel. The ICC is going to put out a warrant for the arrest of Benjamin Netanyahu, and there is nothing the United States can do. <clears throat> Another beautiful thing about this is that if you are a Christian, and you believe in the words of Jesus, Revelations 2.9 and Revelations 3.9. Now, what do they say? Okay, so what does Revelations 2.9 say? It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Revelations 
Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. You see, as true Jews, we don't need to pass or have passed laws to protect us. Because if you are a true Jew, then you know that God is watching over you. So you do so we do not have to delete Palestinians. God is our protector. We do not have to have the United States government make laws to protect us. Jesus assured us that God has not forgotten us. And if you pay attention, you will understand that everything the synagogue of Satan is doing is working in reverse. And the reason why everything they're doing is working in reverse is because lies are being is because lies are being met with truth. Lies are being met with truth and they are being overturned. The lies are being overturned. And this is why the synagogue of Satan is not getting the return that they expect because their lies are being overturned. They are a wounded animal grasping for straws. And straws will not help them. Now they can shadow my and block my content all they want. But everything that I am saying is in the thought ways of the universe. Every thought is real. Everything I'm saying is in the thought ways of the universe. It is in the internet. It is a part of the spirit of the internet. And people will feel and see and acknowledge the things I'm saying metaphysically. Like and subscribe. Talk to you later.